kids, my name is Barbara and I'm so excited to be here with you today. We are in a series called What is Love? We're going to be learning about what love is and what it looks like. Today we're saying love God and love others. Say it with me, love God and love others. Good job! And our verse today is 1 Corinthians 13, 6. And that verse says, Love does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. And so you're probably wondering what the word iniquity means. It means wrongdoing or sin. The Bible tells us that we should not be happy about sin, but be happy about truth. Now let's look at a story where Jesus had to make a choice between sin or truth. Let's check it out. After Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the desert to be tempted by the devil. What? That's crazy! Watch out, Jesus! It's a trap! The devil is going to trick you and then karate chop! No, no, no. Jesus had nothing to worry about because he had the Holy Spirit, which is way stronger than the devil. And we are about to see in this story how he's going to fight against the devil. Oh, yeah! Jesus ate nothing for 40 days and nights. After this, he was very hungry. The devil came and tempted him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these rocks to become bread. Whoa, hold up. What kind of bread are we talking about here? Are we talking about white rye, brown, whole wheat, sourdough, corn, unleavened, multigrain, and swing your partner round and round over the hills and through we go. Whoa, stop, stop, stop. Uh, I don't know what kind of bread it was. I'm just really hungry. Well, don't worry. Jesus replied and said, It is not just bread that keeps people alive. Their lives depend on what God says. Then the devil led Jesus to a super high spot on the temple in Jerusalem. He said to Jesus, If you really are the Son of God, then jump off. Wait, I don't care who you are. That is not a good idea. Yeah, he tried to confuse Jesus with a Bible verse that says, God will command his angels to help you, and their hands will catch you, so that you will not hit... Uh Uh-huh. So that you will not hit... Yes? So that you will not hit... What? What What is it? Spit it out! A rock. Oh. He twisted God's word against Jesus. Hey, not cool. But don't worry. Jesus replied with scripture and said, You must not jump off high stuff. Yeah, my mom always tells me that one. Uh, actually, he said it's not good to test the Lord your God. Eh, same thing. Jesus knew it was good to trust God, not to test God. Then the devil led Jesus to the top of a very high mountain and showed him all of the kingdoms of the world and all the wonderful things in them. The devil said, if you will bow down and worship me, I will give you all these things. Wait, what? The devil wants Jesus to worship him? No way, don't do it, Jesus! I know, and what's even more sad is he wanted Jesus not to go to the cross and die for our sins. He wanted him to take the easy way out instead of doing things God's way. Quick, Jesus, quick! Karate chop, karate chop! Whoa, there's no need for karate chopping. Because Jesus used scripture again and said to Satan, Get away from me, Satan. The scripture says you must worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And when he said this, the devil left. Yeah, take that, Satan. Don't show your face here again. After all this, someone needs to get this guy a Lunchable, a Gatorade, or something. Actually, after all this, angels came. Oh, did they actually bring Lunchables and Gatorade? I had no idea they made those back then. Seriously. No, but they did come and help him. Jesus used God's word the whole time to fight against the devil. And if we have the Holy Spirit, we can do the same. That was an awesome Bible story. We see that the devil was trying to get Jesus to do wrong instead of doing things God's way. Okay, so take a moment to answer this question. Do you ever find it hard to do the right thing? If so, why?
Would you rather do something that is easy or hard? Most of us would always pick easy. We like when things are easy. In life, we all have choices to make. We can either do the right thing or the wrong thing. We can do things our own way or we can do things God's way. The problem is, is that God's way isn't always the easy way, but it's always the best way. For example, homework, all right? Your parents tell you if you get all of your homework done, then you can hang out with your friends. Okay, so you've got two options. You can take the hard way and just do the homework, get it done, or you take the easy way and tell your parents that you did your homework even though you didn't. Being honest and doing the right thing can be hard sometimes. Lying can be easy and it can get you what you want, but look what you had to do to get it. You had to lie to your parents. And when we lie, it hurts us and it hurts others. You wanna make friends at school and be liked by everyone, but you see a kid getting bullied. What do you do? Do you go the hard way and stand up for that kid? Or do you take the easy way and just go along with it? Make fun of that kid just like all of the others. This might get you friends right away, but they won't be good friends. When we sin and do things our own way instead of God's way, it's like taking a shortcut. A shortcut is when we go a different way to get somewhere faster. I wanna hang out with my friends, so I'll lie about my homework. Or I wanna be popular at school, so I'm gonna make fun of the new kid. Now we see this same thing happening in the Bible to Jesus. The devil is trying to get Jesus to take a shortcut. What would have happened if Jesus took the devil's shortcut, took the easy way out and didn't go to the cross to die for our sins? Man, that would have been easier for Jesus, but that would have been really bad for us. Jesus knew that if he was going to make a way for us to be forgiven of all of our sins, he would have to go the hard way and give his life for us. And that's exactly what he did. Because Jesus loves me and because Jesus loves you, he went to the cross and let himself be punished and killed for our sins. He stayed dead for three days, but then he came back to life. And he came back to life so that we could have a new life in Jesus. Because of what Jesus did, we get to be in heaven with him forever. Love chose not to take the easy way. Jesus chose not to take the easy way. If you wanna ask Jesus into your heart, into your life, what are you waiting for? You can do that right now. Let's just pray together. Pray this after me. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins. I believe you came back to life. Forgive me of all my sins. I want to follow Jesus. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you prayed that prayer and meant it, Jesus just gave you a brand new heart and you are forgiven of all of the sins you've ever done in the past and all of the sins you'll ever do in the future. So remember, love does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. If we're being loving, we're not going to be happy with sin or evil, but we're going to be happy with the truth even when the truth is the hard thing to do. We're not gonna to wanna to go our own way, but we're going to want to go God's way. Thank you so much for being with us today. You guys were so awesome. Remember to always love God and love others.